I loved that character because he was a uh, I don't know, and it satisfied a sense of hunger that, as an actor, a black actor, that I had that uh, you could finally say something. You could finally uh, put something before the public that spoke to a reality beyond television. At least that's what I was playing. Uh, it may not have hit many people that way, but uh, in my mind, that character was based entirely on a truth that I had known. Uh, he was, I mean, I thought, devastatingly funny. <laughs> and I had known many people like that who could uh, have you dying on the floor laughing, and they'd never crack a smile. And if it had been suggested to them that they'd, that they'd been funny, they would say, what, I didn't say anything. But I thought uh, he was more part of the ensemble than that would indicate. Than that he was uh, the audience's point of view. I think it was a very cleverly written show by Susan Harris. And that character particularly, uh, it had been around for a long time, I think. Most recently at that time was uh, Rochester with Jack Benny. Right. But I thought he was a much more substantial character than Rochester ever was allowed to be. Uh, of course, we don't know what Rochester would have been like away from that confine. Right. But uh, that was a very cleverly written show. And we had a group of great actors. We had a group of actors who knew how to uh, play those particular roles. Because I thought it, it, it was a delicate balance. Uh, it was a delicate balance between uh, um, reality and spoof. <laughs> <laughs>